Another Captain Marvel trailer has dropped, and of course, the real screeners, Betho and Lenny, we've got to review it for you guys. And this is something different for us. We've never done this before, but hey, just mix some things up, yeah, right? We're going to take on this new challenge, and we're looking forward to some of the Marvel movies coming out in 2019, Captain Marvel being one of them. So here, we are about to watch the trailer and give you our reaction to this Captain Marvel trailer. All right, you want to do the honors? I will certainly do the honors. Let's see. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, here we go. <sighs> Train passing oh, by. Okay. Scrolls are the bad guys. Look at that smile. Creepy smile. Oh, oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Man. <laughs> oh. There you go. Rem reminds me of my mom. Badass grandma right <laughs> there. You're free. A race of noble warriors. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. Hero. Noble warrior heroes. You gotta get it straight. Your life began the day it nearly ended. Okay. We found Someone's you. about to do no something to her. We made you Ashes. One of us. Annette Benning. Annette Benning. She still got it. Longer, Blue blood. Blue Superior. Force field. Yeah. Oh. You were cool reborn. Mohawk. Bam! What just happened to her? Upside down. I keep having these flashbacks. Memories. Reminds me of my days when I used to fly fighter jets. Oh, of course, course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the cinematography you on that flip. We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Here we go. So Nick Fury looks a little different. Like yeah. Mar Marvel CGI at work. What you really are. <laughs> What just happened? happened? What's up with my blood? I I have a life here. <laughs> what are you telling me? I'm oh, just funny. Free Larson, Jude Law. You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. Oh. Just I know you did. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Damn. That's awesome. I, I love the special I'm effects on that. Fight your war. Ben Mendelsohn, awesome. Oh man, she it. looks cool. This looks super awesome. Wow. I can't wait to see this in the theater. That, look at that. That's cool. Dang, man. Yeah, that, it reminds me of like what the you know what the Phoenix would look I'm like, but the like. Thing. This is Fury being all What's soft. Your name, huh? Fury. What's I'll be back. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't looks know about like that. looks like she's telling him what to do. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So, first reaction, raw reaction. I like the trailer, you know, I, I really dug the, the scenes in outer space a lot. Uh, some of those special effects look amazing and the camera work uh -huh. looks really, really good. I think that Brie Larson is going to do a good job, you know, I, you know, we all know she's an Academy Award winner, mm -hmm. um, but uh, she's, this is something new for her, for sure. So, I mean, I think that she maintains kind of like a very down to earth vibe to this character like she talks just like any regular you know gal you know human being does don't know how i quite feel about that line at the end of the trailer though where she says you know what, what's the line again i'm not gonna fight your war i'm gonna end it Wait, I'm not going to fight this war. I'm, I'm going to end, end it. it. That's right. I'm not going to so, fight your war. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I, end it. in my opinion, it's like a little corny, you know, one liner there. I don't have a problem with the way she delivers it, though. I kind of like the way that she delivers it as a very matter of fact, kind of like, yeah, I'm just going to end this war, you know? Okay. Um, so we definitely, so, I, like so I, I can see that we're going to have some agreements and some disagreements on this. So. Well, of course, you, you you like to disagree with me, yes, so yes. go ahead. It's my favorite thing to do. Start, yes. Go <laughs> okay, ahead. so at the very beginning of this trailer, okay, uh, you see she's, uh, he says you're like some noble, noble warriors or something like that. She says, noble warrior heroes. Heroes. And Cor stand corrected. Yes. And, heroes. and so that's, that seems like a very earth thing to say. Maybe not so much a very Cree thing to say. So I was like, eh, okay, I'm not sure uh, if she retains her earth isms or not. Okay. And then after that, you talk about, okay, look at that explosion, right? Okay. We all know trailers can be confusing and misleading, right? 
I'm just gonna guess and, that. And I think that they're that they're doing a good job misleading, yeah. especially considering that this isn't much different from the first trailer, you know. Right. But going back to the explosion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think that explosion, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not gonna delve into the comics too much, but it's it is mentioned in the comics. There's some explosion, and that's how she gets her powers, right? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of thinking in this movie, based on the trailer, that that explosion kind of maybe activates her her, her uh, Kree, Kree genetics. Okay. Yeah, and so suddenly she's like, oh my god, why am I bleeding blue, right? Okay. So that's 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 one thing. Right. Um, Right, then, and then there's all sorts of scenes that come after, like her upside down with these like right. waves of plasma. Right, right, know, and, and there's a scroll scene. in that yeah. scene, and Annette Benning has that voiceover where she talks about her being reborn. Right. So I think they're throwing us off on that because I'm wondering if something else is going on. Maybe like, she's... what is happening there? Are right. they taking away her memories? Or are giving, they giving them back? back to her? Who knows? Um, are they manipulating her somehow to turn her into, a, a, you know, like a villain? momentarily I don't know but does that activate her binary powers I don't know who knows yeah it does yeah there's yeah. all sorts of possibilities there but uh it's it's uh it's intriguing to see like how I guess they're deciding for from what I see in the trailers to keep her more uh, you know kind of like keep her humanity the human mm -hmm. side of her intact even though she is Kree and she, it's going to give her these cool powers right right later uh, on sp speaking of Kree you notice that Jude Law's in this movie and at first, okay, so if you go on the IMDb website, it lists him as Marvell very clearly, okay? Right. Who um, in the comics plays a sort of mentor, right. sidekick to the original Captain Marvel. To Captain Marvel. Yeah, right. he's the original. Or right. he's the original Captain yes, Marvel. Yes, sorry. Right. And so, anyway, um, there's a lot of chatter at this point, right? That really, uh, he's not really Marvell. He's actually some guy named uh, Jan Rog, who's a, a, a Kree commander. Okay. okay, and there's a, the speculation started because there was this toy called, I think it's Funk Pop or Funky Pop, and there was this okay. toy that came out and it said Yon Rog, and so people think that that's Jude Law, and so there's all the speculation. And but if, what if they're throwing us off again? Exactly. What if that's another like and red what herring if he's not or something? Yeah. Also, in that in that trailer, they make it seem as if Jude Law's character is hiding something for her from her, excuse me, and they they put him in positions in the trailer where it looks very adversarial. Yeah. Okay, Where so he looks like he has, uh, you know, a, an agenda. With, right. With so, her. and I don't think yeah. that's something that they would do for the Marvel character. Um, he's very well loved. He had a, a very memorable death in the comic books back in the '80s. So I don't think they would go that route with him, but. It's a trailer, you just don't know these things. Who knows, yeah. And you know, Samuel Jackson as Fury in this trailer, I mean, he seems way different from mm -hmm. the Nick Fury we know from the previous Marvel films, so I'm kind of excited to see how he transforms into right. the Nick Fury that we know, because he seems like a lot, you know, a lot softer, I want to say kind of puny in a way, um, but I think a he's a subservient, nervous. maybe? Yeah, a solo subservient where she just kind of takes the lead uh, a little bit, but I think that he's just a novice now and he's going to grow to become you know the Nick Fury that we know of right and, 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 uh, and a big clue from that is obviously the toward the end of the trailer you see him you know petting the cat and being all googly with it and I was like yeah yeah, yeah. I, I don't and like he has that. a scar I don't like that. which could foreshadow yeah right what happens with his eye which I don't know I mean do you know I mean I, I don't know, I, the I, comics I don't know yeah what happened um, but uh, you Maybe, know yeah. there's 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 obviously themes in the trailer that you can pick up on that kind of reminded me a little bit of like Wonder Woman and a lot of these superheroes are like you right. know the, strong the obvious females. themes of strong females but also like self-discovery you know discovering mm -hmm. your, your yourself your past dwelling on your past who you're going to become uncovering your full potential and that's right and, and it's, pre cool. it's pretty obvious that they're going to be dropping a lot of these flashbacks throughout the movie so correct yes yeah. but the one thing that bothered me about this trailer uh -oh. and I wonder if I'm the only one who thinks this in the comments uh -oh. below please let me know if I'm alone on this what bothered you man it's okay that line I'm not going to fight your war I'm gonna end it first of all I have no problem with the writing the line I, the I do the I do that's so funny because it's corny do you think it's I, I, I think I think if, if they put it in the right context it'll be good you have but a problem with the context I had a well I had a problem with the delivery okay she says I'm not gonna fight your war to I'm me the next it. part sounds kind of valley I'm gonna end I'm it. gonna end it 
I don't know. Maybe I, it's just my filter. It just it doesn't it, it didn't it lost punch for me. It didn't do it for me. It didn't sound like I feel like that's how like a girl like her would say it. So to me, it just makes sense that it would be said kind of valley girlish, but but you know, Captain Marvel in the comics is portrayed as the strong, powerful female who uh, is stronger, you know, psychologically and emotionally than most get men. There, man. This is a coming of age thing. I, yeah, I, get I, I, I guess. Oh, it didn't bother there, me. Man. This is a character. Okay, but I hear you, I hear you. I, I hear what yeah, you're she, saying. She was though. born of, of second wave feminism and she's supposed to represent that and then that, I'm gonna end it. I, sorry, I just didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so that, that just about does it for us, guys. I'm super stoked to watch the movie regardless I of that one too. line. But Definitely. It looks yeah. awesome. It looks awesome. It's, it looks cool. I, I love to throw around visual spectacle, but you know this is going to be awesome to watch. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm so excited as to how this may potentially connect to Avengers and uh -huh. oh, you know, yeah, Avengers that's right, yeah. 4, you know, and uh, can't wait to also see the trailer for Avengers 4. And uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm super excited excited about this mm -hmm. movie and it looks it looks really good like the special effects look good uh, great cast you know all around so I'm excited for it okay so guys that wraps it up for us and let us know if you guys would like us to review some more trailers we're looking forward to reviewing the new Avengers 4 trailer and join us next time for some more real takes on trailers peace